The Australian wildfires killing millions of animals and displacing thousands have one local elementary student taking matters into her own hands to help. Eyewitness News reporter Anya Whitehead introduces us to Penny Lane and her special art. Then we cut her. Penny Lane is not your average first grader. Her love for koalas had her picking up her crayons and paper when she heard about the Australian wildfires. I saw that they needed help, so I thought maybe we can help them. And it's always a good idea to help them. Really, rolling is nice. Her mother, Katie Lane, has tried to instill core values in her three children to always help when you can. We had been watching the news and saw the, the wildfires, and she loves koalas, and she loves art, and just kind of, that's what we decided to do, was, uh, was to do the pictures and post it on social media. The family thought it would be something to pass the time, but it sparked something greater. Tons and tons of shares, and then uh, when I was contacted by the news and stuff, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> it's neat, and people seemed to be really moved that she cared enough to do that and take the time. Penny has done dozens of drawings that raised over a thousand dollars to help the animals affected by the wildfires ravaging through Australia. Art is fun because you get to make your own work and it looks so cool when it's done. It could look like you're a, you can make our space a picture anywhere. There is no love like a child who wants to help others on a different continent over 10,000 miles away. Were you happy to have to draw so many? Mm-hmm. Because then the koalas can be safe, saved, and they don't, and they don't have to die. In Clark's Green, Anya Whitehead, Eyewitness News. And though Penny is done taking drawing requests, she still has a handful to work on and mail out. And she's happy with the money she's raised. Some excellent work. Well